when I started in the labors, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Didn't even know how to read a tape measure. One thing I realized, uh, you don't need to know a whole lot coming into the industry. You just got to have the, the willpower to want to achieve something. I knew nothing about ironwork besides what I seen my dad do. Yeah, the apprenticeship starts you off from day one if, as if you have zero construction experience. I wanted to learn the aspect of my trade. I mean, I've done, you know, basic carpentry, but to the scale of what we do now of concrete and setting forms and doing scaffolding. I didn't know absolutely anything about construction or anything about the trades, and I decided to give this a shot, and it ended up turning out to be the best decision I made so far. My foreman had to basically walk me through everything I was doing for the first time. You started out with just your basic hand tools and addition and subtraction, and you just work your way up from there. You know you're going home to your family every night. They, they preach safety, they teach safety, they give you certifications on safety, and they just teach you your trade, and you become a, a skilled journeyman at whatever you decide to do. A lot of book work, a lot of uh, you know, class work, they show you the fundamentals. You know, uh, if, if you're going to do concrete, they're going to show you how to do the Simon forms and how they set them up and how you do everything like that. When you come in, you just make sure that you come in with open arms and a listening ear. Just be ready to learn. You just jump right in there. After my apprenticeship, I will definitely feel like I have the resources and proper training to be ready to be a journeyman. and. Uh, start my career in the construction industry. If you show that you have the effort and the drive, the older guys on the job are going to notice that and they're going to invest their time into you. The journeymen, the seasoned guys, they know the young guys are the future. We get a lot of young, bright apprentices that, you know, you can see it in their future right from the get-go. You know, some of them after two years of becoming a journeyman that they step up and have a company truck or whatever it is. The opportunities that I have starting at 19 is that I got to know the trade really early. Uh, I've got to meet some of the uh, older guys that have a lot of knowledge and um, they taught me a lot of things and I appreciate that. The pay is Pretty good, ph phenomenal actually, and the benefits that come with the pay are extremely good and uh, very thankful for that. With uh, retirement, it's probably one of the best. If you start young, you come out of high school, you do your 30 years or 40 years, and you can retire, you know, you, you won't have to worry about money. Starting early helped my uh, benefit package better. I have more of my pension and my retirement. One of the, the the great benefits of you know coming out of the military and going into uh, the apprenticeship for the carpenters is that I was able to still utilize my GI Bill. I was actually still making the same amount of money as a, a journeyman carpenter through the stipend of my GI Bill, which was you know very nice. Once you're done with your apprenticeship, it's a five-year program for us, and I know college is typically a four-year program, so it's a little bit longer. But however, when you get out, you are paid for your training and you graduate debt free. Most of your, your brothers, sister, iron workers are, are your friends. You're putting everything you got into it every single day. I mean, you're, you're out there sweating. I mean, you bleed. And it's just, it's what you do. I mean, you, you gotta love what you do. And when it's done, you can drive by it and say, hey, I built that. <laughs>